Hi everyone, I thought today that we could uh, continue with uh, our stamp videos and uh, so I'm going to show you another one of my albums this one is uh, mo this one mostly contains stamps from Western Europe so let's start we have uh, we're starting with Scandinavia with uh, Iceland at the top there and followed by stamps from Greenland and uh, stamps from Norway below them and uh, stamps from the Faroe Islands and here we have stamps from Sweden and uh, stamps from Denmark and uh, finally to conclude the Scandinavian section we have um, first to have I have I made space for stamps from Åland which is an island close to Finland that this also issues its own stamps, but unfortunately I don't have any yet. And below it we have fr stamps from Finland. Oh. Moving on to... Uh, British Isles and starting with the Republic of Ireland have the oldest ones at the top there just as soon they were issued soon after Ireland obtained its independence and then we have newer stamps below and uh, we have uh, here stamps from Guernsey, Alderney and Jersey, the Channel Islands. They also issue their own stamps. And below them we have stamps from the Isle of Man. Stamps from the United Kingdom, I have a separate album for them because I, I have a very substantial amount. Then uh, we have uh, some stamps from Luxembourg. Oh, and below them we start off with the Dutch stamps, stamps from the Netherlands. Some are older than others, as you can see. So, more Dutch stamps. I also have more stamps from Holland which I haven't but to be honest I don't have the space for in this album so I'm currently waiting for another album to arrive so that I can make space for these stamps of Belgium starting again with the older stamps and making our way to newer ones And uh, Switzerland, or uh, I think it's pronounced Helvetia. And uh, at the bottom there are my only two stamps from Liechtenstein that I have in my collection. And uh, now we have Austria. Starting off from 
the older ones, the top three, they, they were from the time when Austria was an empire, Austria-Hungary, and uh, soon after the end of the First, War, First World War, there was a, a union between Germany and Austria, in fact, the, I have four stamps marked as German Austria or Deutsch Österreich. Um, unfortunately, th this union was uh, deemed illegal according to the treaties of World War One, and Austria then separated once again from uh, Germany. Um, then we have the uh, some newer stamps from Austria. Right on until we have the three at the bottom issue during uh, the Euro era. And uh, now we have come to Germany. Um, I do have other German stamps that were uh, issued pre-World War II, but here we're starting from when the Federal Republic of Germany became um, independent, so around in the, I think in the late 40s or early 50s. Um, also stamps of East Germany and uh, West Berlin are not shown here. These are quite common stamps that I'm showing you. from that are marked Deutsche Bundespost which was the the mail carrier of uh, West Germany then we come on we we have some stamps marked Deutschland these are stamps after that were issued after the unification of Germany here we have the collection of flowers, these are recent stamps, I think from this decade, something like that. Very nice collection. So more stamps of West Germany. Before its unification. And here we have stamps issued after the de unification. And uh, at the bottom, maybe the last two lines or three lines, something like that. These are stamps from the Euro era, from the Euro era. So all the denominations on the stamps are in terms of Euro currency. And finally, we come to the last page of this album, and uh, I put here the stamps from Monaco, from the state of Monaco. I made also space for Andorra, but uh, unfortunately I don't have any stamps yet for them. And at the end you can see my only stamp from the military order of Malta, from the Knights of Malta. These stamps are uh, different obviously from the stamps of Malta um, in every way possible. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, until next time. Bye.